I came across a post <laughs> on social media that stated, you are afraid to move and start over, but not afraid to keep going back to the same person who refuses to change. <clears throat> you are not afraid, you are just comfortable. Ooh. Mm. So, ladies, when did you realize things were going nowhere with the person you were dating, or even someone you were, a friend, you were in a friendship with, and it was going nowhere? For me, I would say when I would, we would try again and again and again, and it mm. just didn't work, but we really, we really tried. As you know a, what I mean? As a, as a relationship, relationship. As a couple. And, you know, time would go by, and he'd call me or I'd call him, and then we'd try again, and it just didn't work. But it's not because we don't care about each other. It just doesn't work, right? <sighs> but I read this quote that says, single doesn't always mean lonely, and mm. in a relationship doesn't always mean Happy. That's right. Yes. right. I think we put a lot of pressure on one or the other to have one or the other, but I think sometimes it's okay to try and, and just pause. And that's life. You're gonna, you know, you make mistakes. You... My thing is, look, life is too short. So don't stay with somebody that you're unhappy with. Yes. You know, I knew it wasn't going nowhere when I slept with his brother. Okay, that's a joke, but the point is, there are things that we do in our relationships that go, you know what, this ain't going nowhere. Right. Why did I cuss out his mama? Oh. Why did I do this? You know, and if you yeah. have all these things, that's your proof. Yeah. So my thing is, sometimes people are embarrassed to move on because they're like, well, you know, this is my eighth time getting married, right. or this is my, you know, I done, I done told everybody this was the one, and, it, and you find one little thing, life is so short. If you find one little thing that gets you, let it go and, and start, re refresh and reset. Yeah. Because your life is important and your yeah. happiness too. But yeah. I think something you just said right now, which was when you reach the point of no return. Mm. Like, I think the point of no return would be sleeping with somebody's brother. <laughs> the point of no return would be cursing it was somebody's good. mother Mama. out. Yeah. Like, for there's sure. no returning from that. But for me, you really talked about loneliness right now and that, that really made me think about being in a relationship where I was spending a lot of time alone, and when they would come around, I actually felt lonelier. Ooh. How about that? Mm. Like, your presence made me feel that oh. much more alone, and it made me feel less like me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when I'm with you, I don't feel like myself. I'm walking on eggshells, I'm people-pleasing, oh. I'm trying to be something That's or someone that I'm not. So that moment when I realized, wow, uh, yeah, I'm spending a lot of time alone, but when you come around, it makes me feel even more lonely. Wow. Yeah. That, to me, was that, that, that breaking point. That's a problem, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Walking on eggshells around somebody that you really uh, are trying to, which you shouldn't even be trying to make comfortable and please, that's really uncomfortable. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I understand that. Yeah. yeah, actually, I actually have on my card, when you realize that you're happier alone. Yes then it's oh time to yeah. say Have you yeah. ever had a breakup and it took a while to get through that breakup? Yeah. And then finally when it happened, it's like something is released off, like it feels like a weight. It's, I've had yes. that like twice in my life. That's why I always tell women, if it don't feel right, get out. Totally. It, tell it to men too. Totally. Don't get out of it, you know, it'll be, get that release, yeah. you know.